Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. This right here is a, a rock I have in my shop, and here it is in the microscope right there. And this is up on Mars, and this is the rover tire tracks rolling over a honeycomb rock exactly like this. And it is the same source and I know exactly what it is and they found pure sulfur inside of it and they are completely perplexed well let's see if we can unperplex them okay my friends all I can say is get ready I'm going to show you that there is biology on Mars it's undeniable all right this is what they could say explore this area a beach-like field of sulfur stones and they did drilled holes and so forth there's three spots where curiosity brushed off dust this is literally identical as you will see in the close-ups this is the same stuff as these little balls here crunchy stuff which they, they rolled over one crunched it and the rest is just like a muddy dirt the same as this and I know exactly what that is. All right, check this out. This is the stones that they found that they drove over and crushed because they're like honeycomb. This is identical. This is identical. This is like the dirt, little muddy stuff area. And they drove over one of these little chunks and crushed in. And what they found inside was this sulfur, pure sulfur. They freaked out. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can get any more detail here. So we're coming around here. And it's just mostly dirt around the edges and runoff and mud and stuff. At one time, this was a very muddy place. Pure sulfur crystals found here. They freaked out. These are the tire tracks. And they rolled up over. Oops, oops. Something like that. Right there, that's exactly what happened. There's the dirt, and they rolled right over one of the crunchy little things, and it crunched in, and they found all this sulfur in there. All right, they're up on Mars. They see these rocks, like these rocks right here. All right, they look just like that. They got a whole bunch of little holes, and they're all muddy around them. I got the microscope way up, like way up, and here it is up in the microscope. Now, these are the little things they're driving over, and they're, they're all a little crunchy. Now, let me move the microscope. I'll show you. There, you see, it's all muddy and then crunchy, and there's all these little spots with all these little holes. And they drove over one of those, and it crushed. And that's where they found the sulfur. And the sulfur is a byproduct of phosphorus, and phosphorus is where the membranes are. All right, I'm going to get deep into the chemistry of Mars. It's all biology and chemistry. This is what they ran over. These are the tracks from the rover. <coughs> Crunch. This is the same thing. One of these right here, just like that. You see all the little holes? Crushed down inside there. And, and this is a lung. That is a lung as well. Phosphor, I'm sorry, phosphorus is connective tissue and it's the rubbery elastins that are in the body and when it decays it turns into sulfur that's the daughter isotope of a phosphorus decay in the upper end all right i don't want to make a chemist or a physicist out of you but isotopes of phosphorus phosphorus is membranes membranes coat everything on every single organ on every single body part in, in between every bit of tissue when the phosphorus decays after it reaches stability and decays here's where it's stable if it decays after stability it turns into sulfur you see that this is the decay this is the daughter isotope daughter isotopes are are, are um, the sulfur it's pure sulfur so where it was phosphorus it turned into pure sulfur and that's what happened that's the daughter isotope of of um phosphorus and phosphorus is in every membrane all the fascia in your body all the connective tissue is just saturated with phosphorus 
All right, so don't forget, well, I'm going to go through a whole long series because I'm going to get deep into this. That's the phosphorus, I mean, the sulfur they found, and it's right underneath <laughs> the, the lung. And then there's all this other stuff on Mars. They found, they claimed, this goes long ago. This is from, Na uh, I don't know who put this out, actually, but NASA's Curiosity rover may have found fossils on Mars. As did, When they first got there, they were reporting on, i show you what they are reporting on, and then it just got washed under the table. They had found these Mars blueberries. And they said, well, what the heck is going on with that? Oh, no, 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 forget about that. Just go look for something else. And they said, well, what is going on with this, this Mars crab? Oh, that's paradiolia. That's just nothing. Go look for something else. Then they said, well, what is this stuff? What's this uh, Mars Morse code? What's going on with that? Oh, that's just crazy stuff. Don't even look at that. It'll go somewhere else. That's, that's their attitude. It's not let's solve this. It's let's just move on. I don't think that's right. All right, in the interest of making this short today, I'm going to go through all of this stuff, and I'm going to talk to you about the Mars blueberries. They're identical to the Moki marbles that are out in Arizona and Utah. And those balls are very, very similar to the balls that are in Hunstanton Beach over in the United Kingdom that are eroding from this wall. And this interstitium is quite similar to uh, this Mars Morris code. And this Mars crab, which is here, happens to be an artery, and this happens to be muscle sarcomeres. And I happen to have the identical same thing here with the muscle sarcomeres and the arteries providing the blood. And we will be able to look at all these things in extreme detail. And these are the sarcomeres. And, and we're going to be talking about Petra. We're going to be talking about everything. I'm going to leave it at that for today. We need to step back into reality. We, we've become so enlightened, we're blind. 